with another video. This is suggested by Animal Lover, and it's actually quite interesting. And um, it's called Creepy Cases of the Mandela Effect. And from my personal knowledge, you know, look it up for yourself, like this is just from my personal knowledge. What I think it is, is just basically where a number of people believe different things. Like some people, like whether it be based on the pictures where, where they saw certain things and pictures where people like, no, it's been this way my whole entire life. When other people are like, well, no, it's always been this way. So it's like, what really is true, basically? So who knows? Like I said, this, this is a loose, like, of what I think it is. But uh, we should just watch it so we can actually know. Duh. What is the Mandela Effect? What implications does it have on our day-to-day -day lives? Today, we present to you six creepy cases of the Mandela Effect. Oh, yeah. We watched it from them before. Psychological pioneers Sigmund Freud mm. and Pierre Janet were among the first to investigate the phenomenon of false memories. Mm. Their studies defined them as instances where individuals recalled something that did not actually take place. Freud discussed the connection between hysteria and repressed memories of childhood sexual trauma in his book, The Etiology of Hysteria. American mathematician Peter J. Freud originated the term false memory syndrome in 1992 following accusations of sexual abuse from his daughter, which Freud denied. He and his wife founded the False Memory Syndrome Foundation, even though it is not recognized as psychiatric illness and research into it is considered to be controversial. There is an important distinction to be made between false memory syndrome and false memories. The syndrome describes a condition in which an individual's identity and relationships are affected by their strong belief in memories that are factually incorrect. The syndrome is thus considered to greatly influence the orientation of a person's life due to their adamant belief that their memory is correct while the occurrence of false memories does not necessarily rely on this effect. The memory of human beings is created and highly suggestible. It may create a broad array of embarrassing, innocuous or frightening memories through various techniques such as hypnosis, guided imagery or suggestion by others. The majority of people that develop false memories will defend their belief in the existence of the implanted events even hmm. after the fact that the memory I mean our brain is powerful is so we can them. just just make it believe really what we want it to believe and the suggestibility of human memory have sparked new interests in the scientific community so those who believe so strongly one way they may just necessarily believe it so strongly this way and vice versa seen as a consequence of the scientific pursuit that aims at untangling the mysteries of human memory it refers to collective false memories where a group of people recall the same factually inaccurate events the term was first coined by researcher author and parent paranormal consultant Fiona Broom. The Mandela Effect has received a significant amount of attention on the internet with people posting the various false memories that they have had on forums and message boards only to find others that share the same experience. According to Broom, these collective false memories are not mere coincidences. They serve as evidence of alternate realities and alternate timelines and of our ability of sliding in and out of them. Broom has discussed this exploration of alternate realities can often take place unconsciously. She has speculated that the individuals who have strong alternate memories may be accustomed to frequently sliding into other realities, whether they choose to do it or not. The oh, that's that interesting. Are only considered false in the current timeline as they describe events that have taken place wow. in an alternate timeline from a parallel universe. Some Damn. commentators, however, believe that the formation of these collective false memories is influenced by similar factors that affect multiple people. These include false news reports, social reinforcements of false memories, or misleading photographs. Some believe so everyone's from a different represent an like, indication of reality that exist in the mind of individuals that are connected in a type of consciousness network. Others consider them to be proof regarding the existence of holodecks, which are simulated worlds or false holograms that contain glitches. Regardless of what the truth might be, here's a look at six creepy instances of the Mandela effect. Number six, the death of Nelson Mandela. 
When Fiona Broom initially coined the term Mandela Effect in 2010, its name was derived from an example of the effect itself. She had vivid memories of Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s. Even though he was actually still alive at that time, Broom then discovered a community of people that shared similar memories regarding his death. Afterwards, she shared this experience on the internet. Hundreds of people, the vast majority of whom were complete strangers to each other, then started to share similar posts in which they too recall the death of the South African politician and that it had taken place in prison in the 1980s. Many often cited vivid or less clear memories of seeing his widow make a speech, snippets from his televised funeral or other large public memorials. One of the commentators on Broom's website distinctly remembered an Oprah show, a live concert shown on several channels and funeral proceedings all connected to the Nobel Peace Prize laureate's death in prison in the 1980s. Moreover, the commentator's mother had the same memories. However, none of these events had ever taken place, and Nelson Mandela would actually die on the 5th of December 2013 at the age of 95 after suffering from a prolonged respiratory infection. After Broom's posts and the birth of the Mandela effect, other people started finding anomalies that they shared in the memory of history. One common interpretation of the Mandela effect is focused on the theory that we have previously lived or somehow transferred between two parallel universes in one of them the former south african that's just wild to even think about the other. he lived and some people are able to recall the incidents from the alternate timeline number five alternate depictions of popular characters those who follow the Pokemon this is the one that I know. Black tip at well, not know, but tail. This is how I however, the learned about the whole Mandela type of thing. As his lightning bolt shaped tail Shout is out to my friend Amy. Yellow. A large number of people are shocked to find out that Curious George never had a tail, as they clearly remember him using his to swing from trees. Another image that is ingrained in our memories is that of rich Uncle Pennybags, also known as the Monopoly Man. However, many people often picture him wearing a monocle when he actually is not. Number four, the death of Harry Houdini. Many people vividly remember the illusionist and escape artist Harry Houdini died during one of his intense performances in an accident that usually results in him drowning or suffocating from being buried alive. Some responsibility for the false memory is attributed to the 1953 Houdini film starring Tony Curtis, which contained a number of historical inaccuracies. However, even people that reportedly had not seen the film remembered Houdini dying in similar fashion. Harry Houdini took great pride in the strength of his abdominal muscles and in his ability of taking a punch to the abdominal region, regardless mm. of who was throwing it and of the force they put into it. All Houdini needed was to see the hit coming so that he had time to contract his muscles and absorb the impact. Unfortunately, one student tested Houdini's ability when he was not ready and punched him in the abdomen, rupturing his appendix. Despite how many remember the death of the great illusion, he actually died as a result of peritonitis. Number three, wow. alternate spelling. In many instances, the Mandela effect has been linked with the misspelling of several well-known brand names or television program or book titles. Supporters of the Mandela effect concept believe that we are in fact remembering the names as they are spelled in an alternate reality or parallel universe. One example that has wow. recently gained a lot of internet attention is that of the popular children's book series, The Berenstein Beers. The majority of people remember the Steen ending in the name as being spelled with an E when it is actually spelled with an A, which would make the title The Berenstein Beers. Despite what our memories might tell us, Smoky Beer does not contain a THE article in the title. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck are cartoon characters that are well known around the world they are along with many other beloved characters part of the looney tunes and many people think that tunes is spelled with a double o as in cartoons when in fact it is spelled with a u when people think about a box of fruit loops they imagine that fruit is written in the same manner as it is in the dictionary however this is not the case as it's actually spelled with double o kit kat does not have a dash between kit and cat 
Jiffy peanut butter does not exist as the actual name of the product is Jiff peanut butter. Some have blamed pronunciation issues and others have cited the Mandela effect for the added T in how people remember the spelling of Skeechers, the popular sneaker brand. Number two, alternate movie quotes and song lyrics. Skechers is spell with a T. Realities. That's one I thought that was, guys. I'm not gonna lie. According to Mandela Effect theoreticians, in the confrontation between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, the latter never says, "Luke, I am your father." Despite the fact that it has been almost unanimously quoted as such for decades, the line he actually delivers is, "No, I am your father." Anthony Hopkins received an Academy Award for his critically acclaimed portrayal of Hannibal Lecter in *The Silence of the Lambs*. One of the most quoted lines of the movie, Hello Clarice, which people remember him saying to Jodie Foster's character upon meeting her for the first time. Another viewing of the film will reveal the only thing he says to her is good morning. Many remember the Queen from Snow White as saying mirror mirror on the wall, while in fact she says magic mirror on the wall. When people sing along to We Are The Champions by Queen, they tend to add of the world to the end of the song. You know, a lot of it also can just be like hearing from others, you like, it being passed down, like, you know what I mean? So, yes, who knows what's it, it could be alternate universe, but it's like, if, let me just play it, because I don't even want to talk about it. we'll wait to the end. Song's final chorus, the version sang by Freddie Mercury, however, does not contain these words. Number one, the Tank Man in Tiananmen Square. The 1989 protest that took place in Tiananmen Square showed the world a remarkable symbol of civil disobedience through the image of the tank man. It is of an unnamed man who in peaceful resistance stands alone in the path of approaching tanks. He was named the Unknown Rebel by Time Magazine and he was later included in a list of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. Such a powerful image is sure to create a lasting impact impression, yet a number of people remember a different version of the aftermath. One commenter wrote, I have a memory of watching this live with my mom, glued to the set, holding our breath, but certain that like in any movie, the tanks would stop. They didn't. The tank ran right over him, and we were horrified. I remember feeling panicked, then later realizing that this was the first death that I witnessed in real time. Damn, that's crazy. There are people who vividly remember the tank man being run over and killed by the oncoming tanks. Even though interpretations and speculations of what happened to the man after the demonstration vary, with some saying that he was arrested and executed by the authorities and others believing that he went into hiding, the available video footage does not show him being run over. In fact, tank man was dragged out of the way after a short encounter with the tank's driver. Some theories are focused on the idea that we live in a simulated world and are misremembering of these That's events crazy is to think about. our fault as they actually represent glitches in the simulation. Whew, it's over and gosh was this one like a mind F because it's true we don't know if we are in a simulation, we don't know if we're in a what alternate universes that we could be passing through. And like I was trying to say earlier, it's like someone could be like, hey, you know, Curious George had a tail. Well, if someone to tell me that, and I've never seen Curious George, I'm like, all right, he had the tail. So when someone's like, he doesn't have a tail, I'm like, well, I mean, he does have a tail because I'm going based off what someone had just told me. But I'm trying to think if there's any that I remember, Um, the Monopoly guy, I do remember him having that little goggle. I will say that. So maybe I'm... And whoever else believes that, like, like it said, we are from an alternate universe. Like, it's crazy because this thing about we don't know, like, we like what, like, what do we really know? You know what I mean? So, gosh, that was that was definitely a mind f right there. So, good suggestion, animal lover. There was one more uh, video I think that you suggested. However, um, when I went to go like approve comments, I. I don't know where it went, so, but yeah, I got this one. So thanks for the suggestion, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.